with an open-ended question, right? Innovation today, because you are in New York City. And last time I checked, it is a thriving technology and innovation hub. How yes. does it, yeah, how does it feel up there? Being in New York City, yes, a Google and, and um, Amazon and all the other headquarters. It's, there's so much that you can just pre-COVID attend and meet other entrepreneurs and meet other uh, VCs and other people in the infrastructure. Even online this past year, the amount of startups that I see at pitch days. I mean, I could go to a pitch day every day online. And so I see hundreds of companies and that's just so exciting and energizing to me. Um, we. I also founded Executive Forum Angels about eight or nine years ago. And we're a group of C-suite or ex-C-suite individuals. And we have a pitch day every six weeks. And the four of us, there's four of us that are constantly, we keep a funnel of uh, firms that may want to pitch to us. And we try to whittle that down to five or six uh, every six weeks that we know our members may or may not be interested or may may be interested in um in investing in fantastic which industries those startups right because here and there i see amazing amazing stuff i focused on ai mostly but yeah yeah let me ask you you well, which industry is they targeting because of executive forum angels because we come from all different industries we look at a wide range of them we have some consumer product individuals, we have some techies, we have some people interested in the life sciences. So that's part of our screening process. If it's something that we think may fit within the interests of our members, then we fantastic, will fantastic. have them pitch. Can you describe among the entrepreneurs and thriving community of startups, right? Can you describe what's the mood out there now? Because some talk about after COVID renaissance, some talking about, yes, people are ready, consumers are ready, and investors are ready to grow. Yeah, I think even during COVID, there's been an increase. I know our angel group, uh, because we went, actually because we do our pitches online now, there's more people engaged. They don't have to come into the city and sit in a conference room for a whole day to listen to pitches. They can they can come online like this and just listen. And so one of our um, companies that a number of us just invested in um, started during COVID. They had to pivot before they even had their um, launch because their go-to-market strategy had to change. But that, um, there's, there's several of us in that one. We raised, I think, over a hundred and about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that firm from our group. So it just, I think that in some ways, COVID caused firms to be much more focused and spend their dollars more wisely and pivot when they had to. For sure. For sure. So I'm speaking with entrepreneurs here from time to time and CEOs of, uh, what is it, the startups or company who just, you know, passed that phase and right. going after what second, uh, what second round of their clients, so to speak. So uh, can I ask you uh, one thing, uh, your advice, advice for those who are kind of already ideated, they have yes. a good idea what they're going to after. But from that, we know it's a long, long journey to become something as a business. Right. So how do you see that dynamic? Yeah, we, we actually, I, I ran the new venture contest for the Harvard Business School Club of New York, uh, this region of the whole global HBS. And we have divided companies into like entrepreneurs, and then they, they move on to having an idea, and then they have a minimal vial product and then they are fundraising and going out. So it's understanding where you are on that phase. There's a zillion ideas out there. As I just said, I see hundreds of pitches every week if I wanted to. And um, the idea is nothing. Everybody has ideas. 
you know, you, you see things on CNBC and say, oh, wow, I had that idea. It doesn't matter because it's all about execution. And so if I was an entrepreneur, if I was, well, I am an entrepreneur, but if I was going to start another company, I'd be like, what, what does the customer want? What would the customer pay for? And then design backwards to solve the problem. Because we see too many people think they have a great idea that'll solve a problem. But if nobody wants to buy that or, or um, you know, invest in it, then it's not, it's not a viable business. So I think starting from the customer in is most important. And then taking some, there's so many basic courses out there on how to do it. I like the Kauffman Foundations. Um, they have great material. I did it at, I took a 12 week course early on after I left corporate life at SUNY here in the city. And it was, it was great. You went through a workbook for 12 weeks with other entrepreneurs and you, you go through that entire process, but there's other things. I would check with my university that I went to if I, or a business school because all of them, I mean, I don't know a, a school that isn't into entrepreneurship mm-hmm. and doesn't have resources that can help you uh, work through the process also. 